Welcome back, you two. It is a great day to be different. So that's what we are going to do today. We're going to show you guys how to be different. And we have a trimmer review, the T-Shaper Recharge Supreme Trimmers for you guys. And we're going to jump right on into it. We're going to bust this open. You can see the box. We more worried about what's inside, as you can see right here. A couple papers that we don't care about. And I'm gonna let you guys know these are my go-to trimmers right now. As you can see, we got the charger, charging dock, which is a thumbs up for me. This gives one up on the Babyless FX ones to me. It comes with two batteries on the inside. That is a thumbs up for me. Comes with a box with guards. We don't really care for those, but here goes one of the batteries. One of the two batteries that it comes with. Great job, Supreme. I don't have to go buy another one. It gives me two charging options, the two prong and the type C. Great job, Supreme, but we're gonna get right on into this. What I do not like about these trimmers is the all plastic. I do not like the plastic feel. I feel like it's cheap. It does come with texture on it as you can see those slight grooves the ribs on the side but even with the gloves on it is still slippery i do wear gloves and it is slippery i will put grips on them later that's one thing i give babyless they do have rubber grip options i do not know about the fx ones for right now but the fx as you can see the gold ones here in a second come with a rubber grip option the battery does slide out as you saw earlier it, it will shoot out. So with the release button being right behind the power button, unfortunately, sometimes you will accidentally mistake the release button for the power button. I've done it several times and it will shoot out and slide all the way across the floor. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is a, a little bit of a learning cur curve, but you'll get used to it. I don't like that, but it's not a make or break for me. Here goes your release hatch. Allows easier access for cleaning, keeps the trimmer cool from my understanding. Also a much better skeleton FX look. Very, very much like the FX ones. Here goes your hex screws. And as you can see a little bit better right here on the FX's because they're gold. They sit right up behind there for zero gapping, the exact same thing. Just plug in the hex screw in there, unscrew it, zero gap boom and just to let you guys see how swappable these blades are how they compare just literally take out the two top screws swap them over and boom now you got a babyless blade a, a tpob blade they all swap one thing i can't say is the babyless housing is all metal and the supreme housing is all plastic very very cheap here goes the rubber grips allows me to keep control of it after these grips i'm telling you game changer supreme if you want to compete with babyless get you some grips allow grip options that's all companies out there babyless you got your one up on that i love that here goes the charging dock i love this charging dock because even with the battery still in it as you can see right there boom it still charges and then it also gives you a slot for your extra battery to charge simultaneously. I have not even had to use the second battery yet because the trimmer charges with the battery in it. Babyless, thumbs up Supreme. Great job on that. I love it, love it, love it. And you can see right here, absolutely eight through the lineup. And we're gonna compare. I did swap the blades. I believe that this gold blade, for some reason, works better on the Supreme trimmer. And I believe that the Supreme blade works better on the gold Babyliss trimmer. But it may just be personal opinion. Maybe it's just a mental thing. But as you can see right here, for those who are worried about what the Supreme blade does, if you don't have a swappable blade for customization purposes or just for 
personal preferences, this is what the Supreme Blade will do on a babyless trimmer. Absolutely eats through the edge up as well. Very, very comparable. They do the exact same thing. No issues. Here goes the lineup after the enhancements. It will eat through the enhancements, no problem, in case you have any overspray. And it will push that pencil over to give it that razor blade effect, which I absolutely love. Clean up any overspray. Punch in that corner with no problems. Slide the pencil over, give it that razor blade effect. Man, I'm telling you, if Supreme throws a rubber grip on here or comes out with an all metal housing with rubber grip options, man, 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 I'm spending 200 on these trimmers all day long. Look at that. That's the final look with enhancements. Boom, nice, squared off, crispy, easy day. Easy day. Same thing here. These things are very, very ergonomic, very, very light. Tap and go. Easy. Easy. So for those who don't, who may not like the Supreme blade, if you do have a babyless blade sitting around, that's a thumbs up as well. I'm going to be comparing these to the diamond blade, the Stylecraft Instincts with the diamond blade on there. And you guys know them instincts are lawn mowers, absolute beasts. Boom, punched in that corner, no problems. And here goes the diamond blade. In my opinion, I honestly think that the Supreme Trimmer with the TPOB blade on there, not only looks better, but actually performed better. It's a much more better ergonomic feel. And this is a plastic, all, all plastic housing as well from Stylecraft. So they're both lightweight. One has a lot more power, which is the Stylecraft. We all know that. Even though it did mow, it did punch in the lines. I just didn't feel like I had full control. I didn't feel like I had full control of these, these trimmers. So as you can see right here, boom, I went in, followed behind a much better feel cleaner and not to mention it is the cheaper option it is the cheaper option so for those guys who are worried about spending $200 for some trimmers these things I believe one 130 140 maybe comes with two batteries and they lawn mow supreme Let's throw a grip on these things, man. Come out with some grips, man. Some personalized grips for these trimmers. Give us an all metal housing. And I'm throwing $200 at these trimmers any day of the week. Any day of the week. Eats up the enhancements for any overspray. Pushes that pencil over beautifully. I love these trimmers. I love these. These are my go-to. But you guys be the judge, man. You guys be the judge. It's crispy. And that is crispy. We out of here. Peace.